she would uh, select a man who she thought could uh, support her financially. She was a skilled con woman. Her nickname, Kiss of Death, was a well-deserved nickname. Maria and Rose were part of a very sophisticated, ongoing criminal enterprise. The women would come to them and say, my husband, he's no good to me. Can you do something? Maria had been with Charles for about 10 years now. Well, you started without me? He was an alcoholic. He was abusive towards her. He really wasn't a, a loving or devoted husband. It was in his coffee they decided to put the supposed potion. Charles felt violently ill and then died. Rose married for the fourth time. This time she selected a wealthy man who owned a grocery store. He suddenly felt violently ill. Uh, he got quite sick. He was vomiting and everything. After Peter's death, Rose collected a $500 insurance policy she held on her husband. The poison ring chose ignorant, illiterate men who wouldn't know what they were signing when they signed the insurance policy. After setting up several of the policies, the men would be poisoned and then the poison ring would collect the insurance money that came from it. You had doctors, lawyers, medical examiners, all kinds of different people were involved in the ring. There were 30, 40, maybe 50 people murdered. Most of the women killed only one person, except for two, Maria Favato and Rose Carina. It was very easy for Rose to become a serial killer because she only cared about herself and money. The poison ring became Maria's source of income and uh, she really didn't care uh, who she had to target to keep that income coming in. There were 30 defendants, 30 people charged with murder. Every time a serial killer gets away with murder, they feel more and more invincible that they can do it again and not get caught. And so they do. 